live from London, this is The World Today with Marianne Mashiri. The Gazans killed as Israeli special forces rescued two hostages 10 days ago. We have a special report. The Middle East and the war in Ukraine dominate the agenda as G20 foreign ministers meet in Brazil. We'll take you there live. One of the UK's richest men, Sir Jim Ratcliffe, reveals to the BBC his plans for one of the world's richest football clubs as he inks a deal to co-own Man United. You know, you do have to pinch yourself, really, because it, it, it is a sort of a boyhood dream, but they never come true normally, do they? <laughs> this, is, this is the exception to the rule, and it's a nice one for me. Also coming up on The World Today. Oh, your keys up. As Beyonce tops the country music charts, her father tells the BBC it's always been in her blood. Hello, welcome to The World Today with me, Marianne Mashiri. We're reporting from Jerusalem, Rafa, Rio, Kiev and here in London, where the time has just gone 6pm. We begin, though, with the war in Gaza. Israel is now into its fourth month of military operations since the Hamas attacks on October the 7th. There's also this hour, we're expecting the British Parliament to vote on calls for an immediate humanitarian ceasefire. These are live pictures of the debate that's been continuing throughout the afternoon in the House of Commons. Thank you for watching. Want more videos? Subscribe today.